Hello everyone, this is The Good Captain. Welcome to another video in my LP of Campaign Series Westfront. This is the Link Campaign Game in Operation Sea Lion, mission number 10 now, titled Crossing the River Darrant. Uh, and so, yeah, um, one quick point of housekeeping. I'm going away for the, this is, um, This is probably the last video I'll upload for until Friday because I'm going away for a business trip until then. And that's why I've uploaded two videos today. It's because uh, those two will have to last until Friday. So, and then on Friday I'll upload another one. Uh, in this way, we'll maintain that sort of every other day rhythm, even though it's not. Uh, well, the average will be every other day, even though they're not technically being released every other day. Okay. Uh, so, with that out of the way, we'll do the scenario analysis. So, the name of this scenario is, yeah, Crossing the River Darrant, and the historical is uh, as follows D plus 7. Seven Oaks, 29 kilometers southeast of London. The dawn of a new day, and our efforts are progressing on schedule. If things continue to progress smoothly, we should be on the outskirts of London in a couple of days. Your battalion is to advance through Otford and continue toward Croydon. Speed is essential in your efforts. Visibility is 15, so pretty good with a, just a slight haze. And we have 20 turns. And this is important because this is another uh, route clearance. Um, we'll do the map overview. Quick study of the elevation. There is a valley running up and down the middle of the map, essentially, with the river in it. Clearly the river Darrant. So... If we say that the base of the valley here is level zero, then it goes up by one on either side, and two, three, four, five, and there's some six level hexes right here, and a couple over here as well. On either side of the valley, basically, are these two large hills. Uh, significant terrain, well, after studying the map, there's a few things I think worth discussing, and I'm going to take it back to the 3D. Uh, notice we have one of these concrete pillboxes here, um, which are, as I've recently learned, hard targets. So the best thing, the best tools to use against these are. Um, anything with a good heart attack value. So if we get some 88s, those will obviously be the best to fight this thing with. It, it doesn't, it looks at first glance like this thing has terrible vision, but then you can see with 15 hex view range, it actually observes the other side, oops, not that, of the valley, of this little mini valley here. Um, So it sits at level 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It sits at the higher level terrain, level 5, and so is able to observe this level 2 terrain on the other side here with, with relative ease. So I'm a little concerned about that, and uh, I'll tell you why when we get to the plan. But anyway, there's that is significant terrain, also because there's many fortifications in here. Uh, that also have exceptional view, or even better view, I should say. So if there's any heavy stuff like 20 millimeters in there, even some medium machine guns would reach out well, at least to the rail line here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, maybe not. But still, the if they have any anti-aircraft or anti-tank guns in there, they could be menacing. So that's a oh, I consider a key piece of terrain right here. Okay. Uh, another thing that's interesting is um, the city down here that's worth 100 points, and we'll get to the objectives, but Greatness and Seven Oaks, uh, 
worth 100 points. So the very bottom edge of the map down here, um, really I'm only kind of highlighting this because of the route. The best way, I think, to get to the exit hexes is via this paved road, um, or paved roads, I should say. The one on the west, I think, is better, the one west of Greatness and Seven Oaks. Um, and we'll go back to the 2D map here. But this, I don't know how well you can see it on the YouTube, but just west of, of Seven Oaks, there's a 25-point objective across a bridge, that, and then it shoots up this hill. It's Again, this is a paved road all the way to the exit X is in the very tippy top left corner of the map. It's, um, anyway, the road is, the road is more important and more interesting, I think, than the actual city. Uh, but we have to push through this city to utilize the benefits of that road. And I've done the math. It's about 40 hexes straight line distance from my lead units to the objective hex. So moving at two hexes per turn is sort of the minimum. So we got to move really kind of faster on this scenario than we did in the last one. Um, there's also more elevation change when we move, so we're going to have to pay for that as well. So I'm looking at trying to maintain a three hex uh, progression every turn, um, you know, punctuated by two hex progression if we're expecting to exit anything. So there is a lot of strain to me looking at this. If there's going to be mines and roadblocks everywhere too, that, that that's really going to, and we don't have any engineers on the map, you know, that's going to slow it down as well. So I'm, I'm, ho I'm not holding my breath over exiting anything. I, I'm going to try to find a way to win without doing it, but I am going to proceed along that line and try to leave that avenue open, at least to some degree. So now that we've done the elevation and significant terrain, oh, do you want to cover the objectives and the first thing to do is notice that the victory is 650 points and relative to the objectives there's a bunch of them we got one uh, two three four five six seven objectives totaling uh, 100 200 375 so if we captured all the objectives we'd still be 275 points short so it feels like we're going to have to take most of these objectives as well as exit some units and destroy most of the British. So this is, um, at first glance, is a little more, ch I would put it at a notch higher in challenge level relative to the last uh, scenario, which was also sort of a route, a route, what I call a route clearance. I think it's called highway clearing in this game, but, you know, clearing their... Clearing the road for other units to follow is what we're doing, obviously. Okay, so let's go through the support. Air units, um, we upgraded our bombers from the last scenario. Instead of having two of the HS whatever, 123s, I think they are. Anyway, the HS series aircraft are out. The JU-87Bs are in. These are much better dive bombers. So we got two of them. Artillery units. Uh, we got our Reliable 150s off the map. Um, and we've got two mountain guns on the map here. And that's going to be it, plus the mortars, obviously. Notice we have no smoke. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, um, we, have, we have a decent amount of support. I think I'll conclude it, that section by saying that. Have a decent, a reliable amount of support. I wish we had some smoke, as always, but okay. Victory, what is the plan? How will we attack? What is the plan, and how will we attack? Do we have enough time relative to the, all the above factors to accomplish with a major victory? Well, my plan is going to be one that I, you know, I need to build it make it very flexible and so the flexibility is that at the beginning I'm not going to drive like an arrow into one objective or one method of winning a major victory so I do keep my mind open to winning by exiting units but not solely by doing so I also want to collect some objectives and inflict casualties on the enemy in a you know 
obviously a highly greater proportion than uh, they inflict on me. So it's a, it's though this is a route clearance, I am sort of proceeding with this as sort of a hasty a hasty attack slash seek and destroy type of battle. I'm treating it as such. I'm going to engage at least for the first few turns until I find reason to change this tactic. I'm going to engage all the local objectives and fighting positions I can see and sort of expand my initial bridgehead in this corner of the map. Um, one, because I want to collect points and secure the area, and two, we have many reinforcements scheduled. Um, so this will be the last thing I go over. On turn two, we have most of our units, actually all our remaining units will drop in on turn two in hex 3922, which is the rail line, and some in 3923, and those, will, those again will come next turn. Uh, however, perhaps more importantly, um, we have all these motorcycle platoons that have been following with us, the um, PSW 231 and 222 armored cars, and the and in this scenario, uh, Panzer for a platoon of Panzer 4D medium tanks, all will be entering at 39.18 and 39.23. So 39.18 is up here, so that's all our motorcycle units basically, and then 39.23 is the the road here for the Panzer 4Ds. So this kind of ties in nicely with what I'm about to do, but uh, my initial objectives are going to be uh, for this company here to uh, move north and secure Kemsing and Cradleham. And that really is to sort of clear up, uh, you know, secure the route for the motorcycle platoons to at least move safely on their first turn, ideally. Uh, hopefully, by the end of turn four, we have this whole area cleared out with this company supported by Stug tanks. Meanwhile, this company uh, will start to um, hammer forward hit seal and then clear the route between greatness and seal start opening up that route and um, yeah I mean I'll move my mountain guns in as close as I safely can to start um, bringing indirect fire missions down and yeah uh, I, I guess my plan is to break up into two groups one group will seize Kem Singh before um, and I may not do this, but I, I do want to secure Crowdleham and Kemsing. And then I, I just see so much fortified area here. I might bypass this and then pull everyone out and bring them south. Or I might hammer down the road and hit Warnhold Farm. Because it's worth 100 points. And then uh, there's a 50-point objective, Otford, right next to it. So that would be nice to pick up here if we could have a battle in this area. It's just the getting there that I don't like. The alternative to moving down this dirt road is, of course, seizing greatness and then pivoting north past the gravel pit to hit Otford and Warrenhold. Then it seems like we would uh, not be in such a dangerous, sh you know, the fire from these hill is somewhat abated. Uh, but either way, I mean, even if they do have 40 millimeters in each of these hexes, we can still probably blast them out with our artillery on a long enough timeline. But again, it remains to be seen. So I'm going to take a little pause, and then we'll start pushing units. Be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. Okay, so we're going to kick this off with an assault on Crowdleham. And we're going to use this entire company to that end. And the first thing we're going to do is... Uh, well, I've, I've I've already done all of the, you know, you should do this too before you play any scenario or link campaign game scenario. Before you move, especially in the beginning, because the beginning turns are so crucial to the tone and tenure of the rest of the scenario. Check all the hexes. And, uh, you know, I sometimes I do this live and I film it, you know, and, and you watch me do it. Sometimes I don't. And... This is more or less going to be one of the ones where I don't show you every single thing that I'm doing with in regards to the vision. But um, suffice it to say that 
uh, you know, I look at the objective hex and I notice that there's a, a visual column right down this line here to the trees at hex range 4, which is good cover. And if there's a machine gun there, this isn't a terrible place to be to bait a shot or to recon that hex. It's also three hexes away from this hex. Now there could be a machine gun there, so we have two options to approach. One, we could use our units to move into these blind spots on the way up here and here not reliably be shot at by anything. Or we could move here, and if there's a machine gun, we might get shot at. And I'd rather get shot at by a machine, machine gun here in this wooded hex than here in this wooded hex, for the obvious reason that it's a hex further away. Hopefully that made sense. If not, I'm sorry for boring you, but I'm now going to move along my route. I'm going to get uh, my platoons um, right below this crest here and prepare to push them into this wooded hex here. So first I'm going to move here. Okay, so if there's a machine gun, he did not shoot, then we'll go here. Okay. This is our battered platoon. We're going to move him here as well. We're going to move We'll move the machine gun here. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. And then we'll just keep moving up. I know it's overstacked, but again, you don't have to worry about the top of turn two. You don't have to worry about enemy artillery on the top of turn two. So, lastly, we'll move you here. This will provide direct observation into the town of Crowdleham. Okay, so we're poised to strike our, move our attack up next turn and finish off whatever's in Crowdleham on the following turn, which would then open up this road for our motorcycle platoons, platoon to come in. And probably by that time, I imagine, We'll have Kemzing by then as well, probably. By the, by the end of turn four, we could have motorcycle platoons pushing past Kemzing. Okay, all right, now down here, uh, the first area we want to uh, take care of is uh, Seal. Uh, so to do that, uh, the first thing to do is three hex range, I want to move you right here. And I'm sort of banking. I'm taking a risk that there's no machine gun because in the open, or I guess we have a hedge, but other than the hedge, we're subject to a clear shot by machine guns at range three. Um, but I'm willing to take a little bit of a risk. Rifle platoon. Okay. Doesn't look like there's an MG. And now this rifle platoon is shot out. I'm going to move the machine gun here. Next turn he'll be able to lay some fire on this position. And the other three platoons will move... Uh, one will go here. Actually, let's move two. And then this one will go here. Okay. So now we're poised to clear seal. Okay, let's throw in um, some supporting armor units. Let's see what we can do with you. Hmm. Yeah, I think moving here. Actually, I might even want a crest. Well, if we do and there's anti tank guns, we won't have any. 
Yeah, I think it might be... So, well, then if there is no any tank guns, we get to shell twice and lay, put eyes on this objective. So, yeah, I think I'll take the risk. Okay. PSW 222s. I think we'll actually need the, there's a more of an opportunity to use their mobility up north. So for the time being, let's move these guys north. About right there. It's a little risky, but we know there's nothing in this hex. Or it really shouldn't be. We started out with a lot of observation on it, so. Okay, 75mm mountain guns. Uh, so we have this position. We know there's some troops there. There's a fort of oil. Highly likely there's enemy here. Um, perhaps this hex is pretty... I'm trying to find a safe hex where we can offload. Well, there's risk in whatever we do. So we'll do one per hex and let's lay them in. Uh, in a spread out manner here. So. Here. Just kind of get them close. Close ish. And they will not fire this turn. Can't fire this turn. These are 20 millimeter anti aircraft guns. Um, I will leave them there for the moment, and the headquarters will go here. Okay. Uh, this headquarter is for the stug tank units. Uh, for the time being, they'll stay put. Okay. So let's call down our fire missions. Uh, we'll do one, two, three here, and one, two, three here. No need for air raids. No smoke available, so we, uh, and there was no reinforcements, obviously. Let's do a quick cycle through, and then give the enemy its turn. So we see some fortifications, some mines. Yeah, it's, it's going to be now. Yeah, it's just going to be nasty everywhere. So a general attack. No, no speed racers here. We're just going to take this calmly and slowly and consume the enemy in as safe a manner as possible and take some objectives. I, th I don't think exiting is going to be the order of the day after all. Look at all this stuff. Hmm. The retreats. No effect there either. Okay, that's not good. Alright, uh, so... Let's see if anyone's here. We're going to... Ooh. So we see that this is fortified. And this is... This is... I don't want to be caught on the downhill of any anti... Any attacks by whatever's in there. So move one, two. Apparently there's nothing in there. They would definitely have shot if there was. Huh. Okay. Uh, and there's definitely something, going to be something in here, I'm sh sure of that. Let's see, let's take our least mission essential unit, and I'm going to be a little aggressive. Instead of just baiting a machine gun shot in the woods here, now that that was empty, I don't want to waste time if this is empty. So let's go ahead and move here. Okay, an engineer platoon. Oh, and he forced my troops to retreat. That's pretty good for them. All right, let's move the machine guns up and spray them. And, you know, I'm going to wait a turn. Why? Because I don't want to risk going low on ammo. Once these things go low on ammo, they seem a pain to get back to, to decent shape. All right. <clears throat> With the rest of these guys... I'm going to stage them close and adjacent. Two units will go here. 
And yeah, we'll send one up here. And yeah, let's take a shot. Okay. Really want to get this armored car um, up, up above with the stugs up there, so we'll go around. Okay. So now that we can, we're a little, we're one level higher, and we can sweep around. Ah, look at this. There's a machine gun up here. One here. Let's take a tour of the battlefield. Wow. Home guard, rifle platoons. A lot of more trenches, a ton of roadblocks. Just taking a kind of a scroll around here. Okay. Nothing too crazy, actually. Nothing totally off the mark. All right, let's bait some shots with this guy. That didn't work. All right, let's try using the machine gun. Hmm. Nothing. Okay. Hate to do this, but the stugs will now act as a bait. No hit. Alright, and now we'll move you here. Alright, so they're they're shot out, and now we're gonna move the equivalent of uh, you know, basically all these three platoons. Yeah, we're gonna move the battalion in. Come on! Again. Excellent. All right, let's surround this guy with the stug. Let's, uh, let's probe forward with this unit and declare an assault and goodbye. Okay. Uh, now. We want to get eyes on the length of this road to clear of mines. So yeah, I think moving, frankly, anywhere along this route, we could probably double time them. Let's move here. Ah! Oh! Well, rats. They got me. All right, let's move here. I guess that was a risk too, but I, I really want to make sure I can see both these wooded road hexes. And let's get you across this barrier. Turn two, and you've already taken an SP loss. Not cool, Ryan. Not cool. All right, let's bring on uh, our. I think we're done here. Uh, we did the. We accomplished all the objectives we wanted here in the first two turns. So now we've got uh, our reinforcements, and we have to make a decision of you know which axis of advance is primary and which one is second. Or are we splitting it 50-50, right? Boy, this just looks nasty. Roadblocks and minefields everywhere. Coming from the south, it doesn't look like it gets any better. I mean, it, it almost feels like... I almost feel like being pushed towards the southern edge of the map and just utilize this asphalt road to get the hell out of here and avoid these excuse me avoid these objectives so uh yeah let's 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 go for the southern route we'll just send this one this single company will secure this objective and then probably disengage just secure the northern shoulder of our advance here and then back off and we'll just pipe everyone along the along the road after taking greatness okay
There's the engineers. This is kind of important. It's double time. Hmm. This is the best route for you. 81 millimeter mortars. Let's just move you here. Kind of created a roadblock in that, or overstack that hex. But should be okay in that hex. Uh, you'll just move here, here. Bring on the last of them. Yeah, some risk. There's some risk, of course, associated with what I'm doing here, but I'm just gonna eat that. I don't think the artillery will fall here. Of course it could though. Definitely have spottering, spotter ability there. They can see it. And I think we'll leave you alone. This is like our one safe hex back here. For you, we'll leave you alone for the time being. Hmm, let's move the trucks out, actually. Let's move you here, here. Okay. Okay, uh, artillery. We don't have it. Oh, we can see a fortified location here. I think it. I think it'd be nice to start, whoops, softening that up. One, two, three. Um, I don't really have any inclination to go get these people. They're way out there in those wheat fields. I don't want to deal with that. And then we'll knock this guy around a little bit. One, two, three, four. Let me check this guy's ability to... Wow, he can see everything. So this X is okay. Let's um Yeah, let's dump all three here. Hmm. Mountain guns. Probably should have done that backwards. I should have put the one fifties on the MG and the seventy fives on this guy, but that's alright. Let's give him a full barrage. Seventy five millimeter on the MG. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then that's it. We give the enemy its turn and hope they don't bomb these two overstacked pieces. Okay. Looks like they went for the northern northern troops. Oh! What? Jeez. Wow, this is close. Oh my god. How many guns do they have? That's at least nine guns. What a... That came from the north. It's gotta be eight or nine guns. How many... I'll have to count the shell holes. Okay, not much enemy activity there. You can't see this. No retreats. That guy got busted and retreated, but still in good shape. Ah, we disrupted the MG. Very nice. Well done. Okay, so... One, two, three... There's at least two more there, so... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So... Okay. That was like five, probably six guns, because I know some of these hexes got double tapped, like this one did. Like double or even triple tapped, right? So probably seven guns. And it came from like a north northwesterly direction here. So we might be incentivized to go. In fact, I feel heavily incentivized to go after that. That was nuts. We can't have that. Um, yeah, so, hmm. Alright, this is pretty straightforward. We move here. Shoot this guy. 
Excellent, he's disrupted. So now we will use our armor units to deal with this threat. So, oh, he's in a village though, and this is engineers. Ah, crap. I, I really hesitate to do this because the assault values are so terrible for both these units. Three and two. Should we risk it? I want to get them out of the village. Maybe we can make them retreat. Let's let's try take our. Yeah, I figured that might happen. Good. Reduced by one, two, three. So he's re been reduced by three. So at the maximum, he's got three left. We would commit five. It's not a terrible situation, but it is only armor units. Let's do it. Come on, some luck. Good. Good, good, good. Very good. Oh, look at this mess. Oh, crap. Two strength minefields. Yeah, we're not dillying around with that. We're gonna, we need to stick to the road. This guy's disrupted. I'll bet you there's some roadblocks with mines here as well. No good, but I... Can't you move closer to the enemy? What enemy? Huh. Alright, we'll move south then. Alright, but the important thing is we got the intelligence on these three hexes here. And there's no mines and no roadblocks, so why don't we go ahead and... Good. No machine gun here. The AI would have shot our guys here in SEAL. So let's move forward to one, two, three, if we can. One. Yeah, uh, didn't help. I thought we might be able to grab that one more hex, but just not. Not gonna happen. Yeah, it's a little aggressive. Uh, Move it to short range, so if anybody comes adjacent, they'll catch it. Okay, you'll move here. Okay. So we destroyed an engineer comp... Uh, let's find out how much strength that guy had. Oh, he was only a four, so he was down to a one when we did that assault, so good for us. Our victory, 50 points in. <laughs> Getting out of the major defeat's going to take a while, though. All right, all right. And now I think we are going to wheel south. God, there is mines and roadblocks everywhere, and so much artillery. This is a terrible combination. We're about to enter a city, too. We are... This is not... There is... This is not good. We need to start solving this problem. Uh, yeah, we need to start solving this problem. <laughs> So we will start to probe over this hill here. Actually, no. we've got to try to find a way through the British lines and get those artillery. We just have to. So to that end, I will commit this company. Um, okay, double time. Yeah, that's clear. And I'll, I'll even, well, no, the motorcycle platoons, we should probably redirect them south to take the brunt of the city fighting. And the point, yeah, they'll need to be the tip of the spear moving forward, so we'll want to get them moving 
forward just as fast as we can. Move you here. Move you here. Here. Let's get those engineers clearing these roadblocks just as quick as we can. Move one here. We'll move here. Let's kind of just split these up. It's not the greatest. You here. Okay. And we split our stug tanks, but I think that for the time being that makes good sense. So I'm going to put this headquarters here just because it's safest. Sort of. <laughs> uh. The mortars. For the time being, they'll go here. This is a safe place, so I'll just leave them. And a little pause, and then we'll give the enemy its turn. All right, back, and... Oh, no, we need to call down fire support. Uh, okay. Um, we still have observation on... There. I don't like that I have two units there, but... Yeah, okay, whatever. Kind of had to be done. Um... It's so basically a clover, probably mines there, it's probably a clover too, yeah, this is going to be brutal, so the screams, we need motorcycle platoon infantry to do this job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, since we're, we're so far away from closing on this, we're going to go for targets of opportunity and just try to score with some points, so... We will blast this guy. We will blast this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's okay then. <gasps> Ooh, a 40 millimeter. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it's out of range of everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, it's in range of this guy. That's terrible. Whoops, I missed that. There's nothing to do but bomb the snot out of it. We'll drop all our 150s on it. 75s, we'll put, hmm. This has just been disrupted, right? Right. Do we need another disruption? Let me check if we need to expend ordnance on this. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't want to mess with it. Let's just let's just dump everything. All the 75s will go on him. No need for air aids. Give the enemy its turn. Well, yes, yeah, so that's one. This battery two, at least. Three batteries at least. Four batteries at least. Five batteries at least. Wow. And it's coming uh, angled left, so it's not straight up the column. Comes to the 40 millimeters. Oh no, those aren't 40 millimeters, those are two pounders. I can see the depiction. I just uh, I saw what my mind wanted to see. Wow, that's okay though. We'll we'll knock those out. Reduced. No effect. 
something ran away. No effect. No effect. Eliminated. Got him. Yes. Disrupted. Perfect. Okay, so let's check the strength. I think we reduced this one by one and retreated him. And there's two strength points worth of two pounders. So those are gone. Very, very good. Okay. Um, we have both these hexes under observation. It doesn't appear that these enemy there's enemy here. It remains to be seen what defenses they have back here. I'm sure that they it'll be prickly. But we need to break through, and we need to get those artilleries. I have a feeling they're in this uh, wide open area where the stream is. In fact, operating on that assumption, let's find out where a good hex to observe the enemy can be found. So here and here kind of helps, but not here. Pretty much need to just get, wow, wow. We gotta get pretty darn close to look into that valley. But we will. We will. Let's be a little aggressive, actually. Just there's too many batteries to. Okay, that elevation is too high. Over here. Just observe. Or, actually, this is pretty good, too. We can see all these hexes here. Hmm. No, I'm going to stay put. We're going to take a look into there. Ooh, uh, British came out to play here. Well, I'm not going to give up this 25 points. I, I fought for it. I earned it. I'm, I'm going to deploy to engage. So, let's see what's there. Rifle platoon, surprise, surprise. Reduced by one and disrupted. Okay, and let's uh, maneuver to, oh. How, wow, you really can see everything, can't you? Now let's move up. Double time. Let's move up. Yeah, not very glamorous, but we've got to gobble up the ground and find those guns. That's basically the order of the day here. What's the minor victory? I'm already my brain's already training itself. Just get the minor, just get the minor. Just take the W, Ryan. Okay, oh Wow. The enemy clearly wanted us canalized. Yeah. Huh. Still disrupted. It's too bad. Little pot. Uh, yo, I'm back. Uh, yeah, so we'll clean up this turn, do the next turn, and then um, call it quits, I think. Yeah, for this video. Or maybe we'll just clean up this turn and uh, just cut it here because we got all these reinforcements to deal with. The next turn will be a longer one. But anyway, okay, the, um, I I really despise this canalization, but there is no time. We have to go through this narrow opening. And there's no if ands, or buts about it. It has to be done. Boy, I really hate to do that, but... Um, Yep. 
thank God the artillery is all dumping up here, frankly. Like, the, that artillery would be way more lethal in this, again, this canalized area. Uh, forcing every all my units to come down this narrow path and just bombing this path right here would definitely net a handful of SP losses at least. So it looks like the enemy is focusing up north, and I am fine with that. So let's move along the road. Okay. Yes. Yep, 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 yep. I was hoping he would shoot at least once, but... Ah! All right. Anyway, that guarantees that one, we have observation now into each of these hexes from the Stugs. And two, this guy will only shoot at the Stugs front armor, which is better than shooting at any of our troops, which are now going to start stacking. Well, that one scared me. Okay, that's okay. X range three with hedge and uh, elevation. We're okay. So good, we'll remove this obstacle this turn, and that will open it up for the motorcycle platoon platoons to come busting through the next turn. And actually these troops will benefit from it as well. Nice. Something like that. It's not the prettiest, but uh, I think we're aiming everyone in generally in the right direction. I, I hope by avoiding this main fight, I'm, I'm doing the right thing here. I'm not sure. We'll pick up 100 here, 25 here, and eventually another 50 here. So we can add 175 safely, I think, to our total, which would put us... Definitely pass the major defeat. 200 plus, and we, yeah, we'd definitely be over 300 by then. Yeah, we could probably be into the draw for sure. Yeah, I have a lot. I think a lot will depend on how well we do against these artillery or how this attack goes. Not sure. I think we might send one motorcycle platoon to assist them. This just seems like this area is going to get super crowded down here. All right, let's bring down some artillery. Uh, the main focus now will be... Yeah, the 150s will all focus down here in greatness. And we're going to bomb out two here, two here, and two here. 75s, since we're trying to eliminate this platoon here, we will dump them all on this MG again to keep it disrupted and give the enemy its turn after doing a quick cycle. Okay. Yeah, we look happy. All right, I just don't like all that artillery. It's so bad. Oh, whoops. Yeah, motorcycles, of course. Just hope that artillery keeps splashing where it does. Very vulnerable area. Yeah, this might be the guy. Yeah, this might be the. I'm gonna send this guy north. One platoon will help uh, track down these artillery. So let's go here. OG 
OG, the open ground two thirds. Yeah, no, we're not going to be able to do it. Cool, and the tanks have arrived. Um, yeah, just to send one armor unit north just to help him clear up this platoon and then move him south. Send them up this way so we don't get stuck in that traffic jam. Turn. Mortars, huh? No, that's to be expected, honestly. Alright, here we go. It's at least one battery. Two. Three. A good, there's yeah, it's gotta be seven, I think. Two, three, four, five, six. That's okay. Yeah, this is let's see if you rallied. You did. Ah, that was four hex range. That was actually really risky. Okay, we undisrupted our guy, which is good. Who didn't come on board? Why do I have reinforcements? Ineffective. Ineffective. Not good. Not good. That was almost entirely ineffective. was entirely ineffective. Crud. Alright, what do we see? Ah, an engineer platoon. Hmm. But still, it doesn't look like there's anybody... Still, I think it's best to just do a direct attack along this road network. Okay, so we can see everything. So no mines and roadblocks up here. Look at that. So, oh, no, no. Sorry, I had the wrong hex clicked. <laughs> All right. So we see some hexes in the relevant area. What we really want to do is, is move our motorcycle platoon. In. Oh, sorry. What is the time on this? Yeah. We're going to call this here. We'll pick this up next time. Thank you for watching this. All the best from the good captain, and bye-bye.